designed to be flown by a 500-pound robot. Wait a second. Can't you fly anyway? You know that guy? Dear Tim and Marie, why do so many people talk about Leonardo Hi there. Want to chat? Wait, Moby, do you know Rocket Ron? Then how do you know he's safe to chat with? What should you do if a stranger sends you a message? My friend Becca sends me instant messages when we're online. And my pen pal Jen emails me jokes. My parents know that they're safe to email or chat with. But sometimes I get emails or messages from people I don't know. Well... Rocket Ron is definitely a stranger. If a stranger contacts you or makes you feel uncomfortable, tell a teacher or a grown-up. They can keep the stranger from bugging you by blocking their emails or instant messages. Sometimes I get emails from people that pretend to know me or tell me I've won a big prize. If I don't know the sender, I don't open the message. How can you be safe on the internet? We're always careful around strangers on the street, and we should do the same with strangers on the internet. We should never share our personal information before asking our parents or teacher. Well, your name, address, phone number, and birthday are all pieces of personal information. You do not have to share where you go to school or pictures of yourself. Moby and I only visit websites that are safe for kids. If we accidentally get to a site that makes us uncomfortable, we tell a grown-up so they can block it. I know it's important to stay safe on the internet, but how can you keep your computer safe? Moby loves playing games on the computer. And Mia uses images from the internet in her projects for school. But we know we shouldn't download anything without asking a grown-up. If you download something from an unsafe website or open an unsafe email, your computer can get a virus. Yep, a computer virus is kind of like the flu. It's a program that keeps your computer from working the right way, and you can accidentally spread it to other computers. You can also keep your computer safe by using strong passwords. Some people can figure out and steal passwords, so it's important to choose good ones that are hard to guess. Your password should never be your own name. They should be long and use a combination of different letters and numbers. And you should never, ever share your passwords with anyone. Nope, not even your best friend. Anyway, Moby, there are plenty of ways to be safe on the Internet. Uh, maybe that's a little too safe.